welcome to Kaveh's new home, where he has been banished from existence by Hoyoverse into this back alley in the midst of Fontaine. The goal today is is to prove to Hoyoverse that it was wrong to to keep Kave banished. My dude, like like how this character, like how, they chose to rerun Barbary on Fei Shikjo. Like Shikjo is like, like I'm not saying they don't need to rerun these units, right? But how how I've had I've had this video in my back pocket for a while, and this was not the the gimmick I was gonna do this video, but I am because anyways, I like he was released with Baiju, and Baiju might get his third banner before Kave, the four star that released with him, gets his second. Like, what, what, why does Bahoyo hate this character so much? So, anyways, the goal today is to prove, prove them wrong, right? They prove them that it's wrong to keep this character banished, rerun him, because he can actually be useful. Now, should you build him? No, like, I don't think my video is going to change your mind on that. But if you're someone who really likes this character for whatever reason, and you don't want to build him because you haven't seen anyone be able to use him, I, I think I think I'm going to be able to show you that today because notably Kaveh has gotten quite a new toy. Quite, what, I can't speak. He's gotten quite a few new toys to be able to to play around with how you can configure his teams. And for that reason, instead of doing what people normally do with Kaveh, which is using him as like a bad El Haytham as a spread DPS with Electro characters, instead we're going to use him as as intended. And by intended, I mean doing his, you know, bloom shenanigans. So we're going to configure a team all around trying to get some incidental ad additional bloom damage. This team is certainly not going to be perfect, and I I'm going to spend a a quite a few minutes probably rambling about my thinking for this team and the decisions behind it and the, the, the problems behind it and the problems with Kaveh's kit for a little bit here. So if you just want to see the team in action... I don't know, fast, feel free to fast forward if it's not your thing, but I personally feel it's important to explain the functioning of these teams so, you know, you can learn how it works and understand that I'm not just insane in, in what some of the choices I've made here, but anywho's. So, problem number one with, with Kaveh's intended Bloom playstyle is that Burst has this little Dendro core burst damage bonus of 38.5% at level 6. It goes up a little bit if I level it up more, but like 40% bonus to the bloom core damage and it's like hey 40 percent damage bonus it seems pretty good except let's compare him to the other you know bloom character in the game if you look at nilu's kit right she gives a damage bonus to bloom core detonation as well but it goes up to 400 percent uh 40 400 40 400 Hmm, what's the difference? Uh, so anyways, and then on top of that, of course, Nilu, you know, you just use her three skills and then wham blam, she causes all cores to detonate instantly versus Kave can only detonate cores when he activates his burst or when he activates his skill. And his skill has a six second cooldown, so you're only activating it every six seconds, which means you're getting like a pile up of core generation. Yeah, um, it's not great, especially compared to Nilu, who released, you know, many months before him. I, I, I don't even think it's fair to describe him as a bad Nilu. It, it's more fair to describe him as a really f Nilu. So, y you know, yeah. But despite that, we still have new tools in the game to be able to make it. So I, I can, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to comfortably clear Abyss. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna even be bullish. I'm gonna try to clear both sides. Oh, and the, the core pileup issue, which you're gonna see in this video, uh, it is an issue because Dendro cores, and this applies to Hyper Bloom damage and Virgin damage, uh, enemies can only take two instances of, of Dendro damage from the cores exploding every 0.5 seconds. And that means if you have five cores exploding at once because they piled up from Kave not being able to use a skill, you know, only once every six seconds, and you trigger five cores with him, enemies are only going to take damage from two of those five cores, right? So ideally, you want to, you know, be triggering them much more frequently, and, uh, wow, would you look at that, his C6 lets you trigger it every three seconds. Wouldn't that be nice? If only he ever got reran, so I had a chance to get his C6. Anywho, um, maybe I'll get it eventually, I don't know. I, I genuinely think this is going to be fun enough that I will consider trying to get his C6. It, it would make this team, I think, feel a little bit more smooth and make more sense. But anyways, I haven't even got to what the team is. I need to start ra stop rambling. I almost said start rambling. I always do that. I don't need to start it.
So, anyways, the first teammate is is Farida. This is this is probably obvious. Notably, though, Farida is a hydro unit, and that means Farida can trigger Bloom, right? So there we go. We've already got the team done. No, of course we're gonna do two more characters. Nokave has very high energy needs, and Nahida does you know EM buffing and all that. So for Nahida's own damage contribution, and honestly, more importantly in many ways, her being an energy battery for Kave, if we want to be able to burst consistently with him. Nahida is kind of required. That's one of the problems with Kave is his energy needs are so high and there's only one real Dendro battery in the game. You could potentially get away with doing Dendro Traveler in this team instead of Nahida, but it's just going to be quite a lot worse. You could do Baiju and Yunjin. Baiju is going to generate less energy for Kave than, than yeah, so it, you know, you get the point, right? We're using Nahida. But what might be kind of required, and some people might not like this, Cloud Retainer. We need a healer for Freena. She do be a healer, and she has high synergy with damage bonus. And you know that that thing I was talking about with the downtime in Kaveh's skill? The problem is, like, you do his normal attacks normally, and his normal... He doesn't have anything in his kit that actually like, meaningfully buffs his normal attacks. He just has normal, normal attack damage. But his plunge multiplier is obviously a lot higher, and on top of that, he has better AoE on his plunge. On top of that, he's a Claymore. Claymore plunging is pretty good. And plunging is a very, very good way to even out the team's damage in order to do something with him while waiting for the, the downtime, uh, the six second downtime between his skill usages. And the way we are primarily specking into his Bloom gimmick is basically because we have Nahida and we have Kave doing Dendro application, there's going to be enough Dendro on the enemies that Farina is going to be the one always triggering the Bloom reaction. And the one triggering the actual reaction is the one you want to have a lot of elemental mastery because that's what is going to determine the damage that the, the cores do when they explode, not Kave's EM. She is on this build. She still has some crit because I just have crit in my substats. I have given her about 816 EM. I really wanted to put her on four piece of dreams, but she has really heavy ER needs when solo hydro, and I really wanted to use Freedom Sworn on her. So she's not going to like never crit, to be clear, but Frida's personal damage is going to be a little bit lower, to say the least. As far as Kave's build goes, we're using Wolf's Gravestone on him. I, I, I honestly think it might be better to, in, in some situations, depending on how many, like, how much energy particles you get from enemies when they die. Skyward Spine is probably better because energy recharge. But look how, like, like this weapon, this, this weapon. I got this weapon recently, and look, look how good it looks on him. I'm sorry, this weapon looks far better on Kave than it does on D. Luke. I can't not use this weapon. So we're, we're using this weapon. And of course, build-wise, because we're using Farina and Kaveh's an on-fielder, we're using Marcus Hounders. It's the easy path to any competent crit ratio. So, you know, he has like 70%, 175 crit damage, and 136 ER. That might not be enough. First boss we're going to test against here. Let's make sure we do Nahida first. We are going to fight this thing just because it's an easy boss. The only problem is that I hope it doesn't go invisible. All right, let's do this blam man all right and do that do that do that do that and blam see it works of course we didn't get to do a full rotation so we didn't quite get his energy that close to back and cloud retainer to get into hers either but i mean hey it worked it worked is a lot of the damage coming from just the plunging? Yeah, go figure. That's kind of the point, is to, to to do the bloom things, but also figure out the problem of, okay, he's not doing enough damage between the blooms, so how do we do enough damage between the blooms? We're using Cloud Retainer. When I'm using a full EM build on, for, you know, with 800 EM, you can't say I'm not specking into Kaveh's build. <laughs> I'm not saying it's actually worth it to do it this way. I, I could easily just do Freena, Nahida, do an Electro unit and do spread Kave. I just think that's less interesting than using Kave, you know, in some form how he was intended. My point is I don't think it's optimal necessarily to do this, but it doesn't have to be optimal if it clears the content, right? That's all I'm saying. You can kill things regardless. Plan. Oh, an interesting thing you can do with this team, by the way, is using a physical goblet instead of a dendro goblet if you want to ignore Kaveh's energy needs. <laughs> if you're using Nahida anyways, you probably generally have enough dendro on enemies that you'll still just generate bloom cores with Freena. But you do would have the downside of like in multi-wave content. You'll see the problem in this domain with multiple waves of enemies spawning would not have Nahida's skill, which means they don't have dendro on them. 
which means you're not having bloom cores being generated unless Kave is doing dendro damage. So that's why I think it makes more sense to do Kave on a dendro build. Plus, also green numbers are prettier. I'm just mentioning it because you you definitely could viably really you could viably do a a physical damage build and do physical plunging on Kave instead of physical Kave. So obviously this has you know tagged by Nahida. And blam, I am just not critting. Oh, Jesus, okay. And now I don't have them tagged by Nahida, but I still have, you know, buffs up and whatever. I still haven't started a new rotation. So they're almost dead because this is, you know, domain. But let's kill him quick. Blam, ow. You need to switch back to Nahida when a new wave spawns. And that means you want some form of gender application, in this case, Kave, to be able to keep doing the bloom generation. But would it be that much worse to do physical? Eh, probably not, right? Let's do this Enough thing. rambling. Let's uh, let's do this thing. And let's see if we can die for the first time, or not die. Let's see if we can not die for the first time ever against Liam. Probably won't happen because it's basically impossible for me. Uh, this is gonna hurt. Uh, no, we're fine. Okay, okay. Blam. Nice 60k. Can I hit him in midair? Probably not, because I'm bad. I also forgot to use his skill. Oh, okay, okay. And we use one more skill, and then go. Can I get out of this? Okay, don't want to be in the, the lava poop. Ow. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's, let's switch to Cloud Retainer. Uh, Cloud Retainer doesn't have an energy back. It's fine. Flam. Okay. I think he's kind of interfering with uh, the, the gender core things because of the lava on the ground. Um, so in hindsight, terrible care or terrible enemy. Can I get off? Oh my god, everything. I'm not dying, but everything's going terribly wrong. Um, this is not demonstrating Kave at all, but I mean, it's demonstrating plunging damage. It's just he, the, the stupid fire on the grid. Uh... Okay, the, the fire on the ground and the Electro on the ground is triggering Hyper Bloom and Virgin on the cores, so he's not we're not actually able to trigger them that reliably. You can see the damage is generally speaking there. I oh my god. No <laughs> Okay, well here I thought there was a chance I could beat this dude for once without dying. I'm too hot to handle! I think it's literally impossible for me to have a video where I don't die against him at this point, but... Uh, <laughs> whatever, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I like pain today, apparently. So, anywho, this, this this boss will probably quite appropriately show the the dendro damage, because obviously the retainers are going to do essentially no damage. And... Uh, I don't know why I did that. And... All the damage is going to come from the dendro damage, whether it be plunging, whether it be the Bloom Core detonation, that. Whether it be the damage to Kave and him dying. See, look at that damage. I like it. Right? Like, you. Ah! This, this enemy has just about 10 billion. Oh my god, 26 HP. Uh, this, this enemy has just about 10 billion. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, I, okay, I should have expected this. That enemy has about 10 billion HP, but you can see when I activate his skill, like, it takes damage. It's not like the blooms are doing nothing. I'm stressing this because I, sometimes people treat the worst transformative reactions in the game, like overload or just raw bloom, as non-existent damage, when it's not non-existent, right? It's still additional damage that the team is dealing, and specking the team into it is not going to make the team unfunctional. So, anywho's, let's let's go to the abyss so I can stop just getting absolutely smoked by every local legend in the game. All right, I believe I said I was gonna do first half and second half. Um, I forgot there's a dendro resistant enemy in the first chamber, but you, you'll be fine. Uh, we'll do we'll do we'll do the second half first. All right, let's see you against the chicken. Uh, chicken's gonna be interesting because of its dendro resistance, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Chicken's also not a very tanky enemy, right? So it might be completely fine. We're just definitely not going to see very big damage numbers here. Let's not forget to use that. Slam, slam. We'll use one more skill. Okay. Um, he's about the third down. Okay. Is this a context where I have to use physical Kave? I didn't want to have to use physical Kave, but 
I mean, okay, let's just see. Let's just, yeah, do physical plunges. Don't use his burst in favor of getting physical damage out. It's not pretty good that, though. Uh, da, 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 da. Do this. Okay, I think the, I think the fizzle's gonna work. Let's let's, let's oh oh oh, get my energy back, please, please. Okay. Physical is gonna work. Um, he still has a Dendro Goblet, of course, on him, but Flam. There we go. Took some refactoring of the strategy there, but hey, that was the first try, and also kind of a worst case scenario. All right, this butthole is physical resistance, so of course this is the opposite. We absolutely do not want to do any baloney. I should not have. Okay, well, I didn't use Furnace first because I'm I'm dumb uh, uh, before using her heals. So whatever. Alright, do that. Okay, I did that very stupidly, but whatever. Oh, you bot! Oh God, I hate this enemy so much. Uh, just whatever. It's fine. I mean, it's so jank to fight sometimes with the RNG movement mechanics and whatever. I'm um, just... whatever. Alright, can we kill you with that? Nope, not quite. Well, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna die probably for the incidental damage. And do this. Okay, do that. This. This. Slam. And then do plungy things. Oh my god, I'm so bad at dash canceling today. Oh my god, okay. Well, if you ignore the fact that I played this terribly, ignore the fact that I played it terribly, and hey, we three started the first try. Alright, conveniently this butthole wants you to plunge anyway, so we're just gonna do the full setup, I think, on here. Bam. 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 I don't know if we're gonna get. Maybe I should have waited actually to activate stun physical plunges until I got through the shield. But ah, uh, okay, yeah, I probably should have waited. Well, well I might redo this because again, I'm bad. Um, Oh my god, I, I love I love the timing on this thing. Oh, I forgot to do this. Oh my god. I'm just getting I, I Alright. Really? Okay, no, the bloom the bloom core just popped naturally and killed him, but <laughs> what Ugh. It was a little bit close there, but you saw it. It, it cleared it, right? Bloom Kave cleared that stupid boss. Th that boss is just intensely unfun to fight for me, in my opinion, but we did it. Now let's go do the first side, which I, I think I genuinely think the first side is going to be a lot more fun to play. Reason being, uh, Blooms do some AoE damage, right? So, you know, in single target, this team is just like a, a plunge team. But I think the, the first half is actually going to make this team feel much more engaging to play. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna try to position here. Oh, the, uh, the pyro dude's gonna mess things up, isn't he? Yeah, he definitely is. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, hmm. Well, oh well. We got some burning going on. Nobody said Kave can't be on fire. Also, these enemies are dendro resistant too, which. Okay, this just this just might not be the abyss for Kave to be completely honest, but hey, we're still succeeding so far. All right, there you are. Okay, that there's no cores around, but oh well. Okay, I want to get a little bit more energy. Pop those cores. That ow ow ow. Okay. 
this, this, that. All right. All right. Getting these guys grouped is a little bit of a pain in the butt, so I'm just gonna uh, not. Oh, I forgot to do that. Where, can you stop? I hate how much these guys get flung around in the air. By the way, it's really annoying. All right. Can I be slightly better playing this game? That would be nice. Oh, look, um, oh my god, stop! <laughs> I'm getting stunned so much. I feel like as time has gone on, I've gotten worse at playing this game. Where are you? Where are, where are, you're over there. Okay. And kill her with the... Oh, okay. Second chamber should be a bit more interesting here. Also, there's Dendro Spectres here. I didn't think about that. Why is everything terrible for Kava this <laughs> It's just a thing. Okay, uh, what we're going to do... Uh, we're going to do that still. We're going to do physical damage to try to kill the Dendro ones. Because they're not going to take any other type of damage. And we're probably just going to kill them all in the same... Well, that was annoying. I killed everything except for the one Dendro one. Redo this, trying to actually. Where's the Dendro one? The so Dendro one is right here. Okay. Uh, I forgot to actually use Crack. I can't speak. Don't worry about it. It's hard. I'm kind of like. Um, Alright. Okay. Slam. Last Dendro one dead, please. Thank you. Okay. 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 That was fine. See, this team has modal flex flexibility with doing different types of damage. And everything's gonna die before I even get to Kabe. Alright, I'm not gonna use a burst here because that was pointless, to say the least. Alright, I'm gonna restart a whole sequence here. This. Blam, and this should be satisfying. All right. Blam, blam, blam. Do a skill. I don't know if I'm really targeting the right ones here, to be completely honest. But, hey, one of them died already, and the rest are almost dead. That was pretty good. I, 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 I think that sequence there probably showed pretty pretty well that like, it's, it's not as terrible as people make it out to be to, to have that bloom damage. And I have no energy on this chamber, but hey, it's fine. And uh, I don't know. This is just a really interesting thing to me, wherein, like, normally... Oh my god, okay, let's not die. Uh, normally, just nobody considers even approaching doing this, right? And I'm certainly not going to say it's the best way to play a copy. I'm certainly not going to say it even makes sense to spec into Bloom this much, right? But the fact of the matter remains is that I can spec into Bloom as much as I did in this team. And can still, you know, space it out with the right combinations of characters to, to give Kave some buffs in other forms, right? That using Kave for his Dendro infusion, using Kave... Okay, I don't have enough energy, because that's my problem. Um, using Kave as he is intended, right? For this weird Bloom playstyle, I can still clear the content, right? Like, it's not that bad. Alright, let's... Blam. Do that. Okay, there we go. Let's kill it with this rotation, hopefully. And get a boom there. And blam. There you go. I, I cleared both sides. It was a little bit annoying against certain bosses, and we had to switch to physical at certain times because of dendro-resistant or immune <laughs> enemies. But the fact of the matter remains, right? We can do something as dumb as considering putting Farina on a full EM build. It works, right? I don't know what else to say there is than that. Realistically, because of some of the ER issues, it probably would feel more comfortable to play with Skyward Pride. But I can't not use this weapon on him because it looks so good. Anyways, th this team has enough layers of synergy that it can clear the content, right? And I, I foresee it being able to clear most content. This is this this abyss cycle is not that easy of one, right? The the bloom damage was not insignificant there. It was dealing meaningful AOE damage in conjunction with the the plunge damage. And I don't know. I, I think it's a fu it's a fun showcase that you know, as long as you're doing damage in a bunch of different ways, you can tend to succeed in the hardest content in the game. 
and even with characters that are generally pandered as having pretty bad kits. And I'm not saying his kit is great. Like, I, I don't understand why he doesn't have like more bloom damage bonus when Nilu exists and has 400%, right? Or or why his C6 is not in his base kit. That would make some of his stuff feel a lot better in, in, in implementation. Yada yada, you get the point. If you want to use Kave and you have the right tools for it, he can be more than, more than functional, right? And that's kind of the state of most characters in this game. I think this is a perfect example uh, of a video I like to create that shows like you can use a character you like even as they were intended even if what they were intended was for it was not great compared to what else you can do it can still work so I don't know I, I thought this was really really fun as a, as a showcase of that and I am genuinely probably going to play Kaveh like this in the future